Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com, and for this Madden 22 Defensive Tips video breakdown, I want to show you how to get pressure despite the running back staying in the pass block. And what we're going to show you with this particular defense is one where you can get the pressure on the quarterback, and as I mentioned in the title, where the running back stays in the pass block. And the formation that we're going to run this against is going to be the gun bunch formation, which is probably the most popular or at least one of the most popular formations that players like to run in the game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the defense. As you already can imagine, you already kind of can see it on your screen there, is that it's going to be out of the 3-4 bear. The name of the defense is called Pinch Dog 3. What we have here is three defensive linemen, four linebackers, four defensive backs. The coverage type is a zone. Uh, the coverage shell is cover three. The blitz type, obviously, it's a zone blitz. The gap pressure is from the C gap or from the outside. The pass rushers are five and the pass defenders are six. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get on the field here and just kind of show you some stuff. But before I do that, I am going to make a sub. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to go ahead and do this sub, but you don't have to make, you know what, better yet, let's just go ahead and run a defense without making any subs and then we'll come back and then we'll talk about some subs you can make to make the defense that much better. Let's do that because not everybody has the Cardinals personnel. Some teams have a little better personnel, other teams don't. You know, I, I, the Cardinals have a pretty good defense, by the way. So it's certainly a defense that uh, that a lot of players or a lot of teams or players are running right now because of Murray on the offensive side of the ball. But the defense is pretty good too. So it's it's definitely a a defense um, that a lot of players will enjoy using because of some of the studs they've got on. So, anyways, as far as how the gun bunch, we're going to use the verticals play, which is probably the most popular passing play that you'll find out of the gun bunch formation everybody runs this play because it's universal it attacks man and zone coverage and it's pretty easy play to run as far as uh, picking up some pass yardage so we're going to go ahead and run that one and might as well get to the best play and show you how to try to defend it with this particular defense as i mentioned already this uh, defense is out of the three four bear and as i mentioned it's named called the uh, pinch dog three so let's go ahead and get on the screen here and kind of walk you through it. So what I'm gonna do initially is, I'm not gonna do anything as far as making any adjustments. I just want you guys to see where the weak spot of this particular, uh, the coverage as far as with this particular defense. So you already know that offhand and we'll just get it out of the way. So right here, they're gonna be able to find that guy open. If they don't make any hot route adjustments, that tied in on the wheel route's probably gonna end up being open. The other thing that a lot of players like to do with this particular play, is they like to hot route this guy on a streak, which you can see right here as you look at your screen. It's going to be the outside receiver. And they like to hot route him on a streak. And as you can imagine, he's going to be open. It's kind of the same thing. So you already know this right there. Those guys are open, all right? As far as with this coverage, if you're going to run this defense, you've got to find a way to get pressure. And if you were to go back in the instant replay, you probably notice, hey, we didn't get a whole lot of pressure. And, well, what's, what's good as running this defense if this is going to totally get shredded by this? So let's go ahead and show you guys what you can do to get the pressure on the quarterback without having to do a whole lot. The first thing you're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and get off to off onto the defense. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go QB contain. So right there, right off the bat, you can see as you look at your screen that these two guys, which is your two outside linebackers, are now on QB contain. The other thing I want to do is I want to go base align. So make sure you go base align. And then you can see right there on your screen. If for some reason you want to keep your play art so you can see your play art, just hit the uh, QB contained again, and then it'll bring up that play art back up there again. For some reason, it's kind of a glitch in the game. All right, this guy right here, this is the linebacker. Now, what he's supposed to be doing at this, while well, I'm in control of him, he's supposed to be dropping back in a hook zone. He's supposed to be in this area here. Or, you know, he's in that uh, three-receiver hook. So, basically, he's more or less in man. A lot of times, anytime you uh, – Anytime you are in a zone defense and you see the three receiver hook, a lot of times this guy covers the third receiver in like a man type coverage. Just keep that in mind, especially in the blitzes, any kind of blitz, you almost always see him in three receiver hook. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring him down into this area here. And if you look at it, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see it. And you can see right now he's in the A gap between the center and the right guard. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this play now, and I want you guys to watch. And a lot of times, you're going to at least get one guy in. Now, keep in mind, a running back technically is going out, but he's running that delayed, uh, you know, he's running that delayed route right there. So what you're looking for with this particular defense is you're going to get one of these guys generally will get to the outside and get pressure on a quarterback. A lot of times, 
it's going to it's going to come from one of my guarantee in most cases most of the time you're going to get this pressure so let's just go ahead and run it and then right there you can see that we got the pressure now i want you guys to notice something that i did on the defensive side of the ball and then you'll see it and then uh, we'll just kind of talk about that as well but and i can't always get that to happen because it depends on what i do but but anyway any rate first off let's go ahead and just go through the play here and you're going to see right there that he gets off the line of scrimmage. This one's getting off the line of scrimmage this time and getting the pressure on the uh, quarterback. One of the cool things about this is notice that the right tackle right here, he slides in initially when the ball snapped. He slides in. You've got a guy coming inside. One of the linebackers are blitzing or, or one of the defensive ends. I think it's actually the left end blitzing or rushing off the edge off there. So that draws the right tackle in just a little bit. And then... This allows this guy on the outside to get the pressure on the quarterback. Now, like I said, sometimes what will happen is you'll see that this guy kind of goes up and then he goes after the quarterback into this area here. You'll see that happen too on occasion. So you get one of these two guys almost always getting in, even if the running back goes does the delayed check down route like he's doing right there. Or what you're going to find later here is we go through the video, even if he stays in the pass block. Now, something else I want to show you that I did on the defensive side of the ball. This is the guy I'm in control of. I'm dropping him back. You notice I kind of give this guy a little chuck. Now, rather than that, I get pass interference because technically he's just getting the five yards. But you can give that guy a chuck, which that's that crosser coming across. So I'm trying to take that away. And hopefully, before my opponent can get that ball off, before this guy who's running that wheel route, which is that tied in, we're hoping that I can get pressure. So we're hoping that before this guy gets going down the field, I can get the pressure before he gets a, he can get that throw off. And right here, actually, I end up getting that pressure before he can get that ball off. So that's one of the things that makes this uh, defense pretty effective as far as attacking that type of coverage. I'm going to get a little drink here. But at any rate, that's what happens right there. That's what you're trying to do. And then if you do it right, you get that chuck. That slows him down. You get that pressure. And I can't guarantee you're always going to get the chuck. I just wanted to point that out to you as far as with this uh, defense. All right. So next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you. <coughs> excuse me. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and show you what happens if the running back stays in the pass block. This time we're actually going to have the running back staying in the pass block. So right there, there's the running back staying in the pass block. You can see on your screen, if I zoom in, zoom in on it, you can clearly see that I hot routed him to go in and stay in the pass block. So now we don't have to worry about the running back going out, but what we do have to do is worry about him, you know, blocking. So let's go ahead and do our same setup here. Let's go QB contain, and then we're just going to go ahead and do this again. Now remember, if you need to reset that and you want to see your uh, your play art, just go ahead and reset the, the, the QB contain. You'll get it back. All right, so there that is. Now what I want to show you again is kind of the same idea. Now this time... The pressure should come, if they leave the running back in, the pressure really should come from this guy here. He should go up the field and then go around his uh, the running back. What should happen is the running back might look to block to the outside and then block back to the inside. Let's see if that's what happens here. But generally, that's what I've noticed always usually happening with this defense. And there you go. And we get that pressure on the quarterback from the outside. Now, of course, from how uh, he was able to avoid that as far as Russell Wilson was, but uh, you can see that uh, we got the pressure on the quarterback. Let's do the same thing, and let's go ahead and leave that uh, running back in to stay in the pass block. Let's go ahead and run to play. And again, we can see we get the pressure from the outside. All right, so that's with the running back staying in the pass block. So that makes it pretty effective as far as what I was wanting to show here with this particular video breakdown is that you can get the pressure but you've got to try to take away those routes too because as I mentioned already, those routes are open. But if you can take those away and initially get that pressure, then you can get there. Again, if he was to make this throw right there, he probably has this guy open. But you're hoping you get the pressure. And that's what we're going to talk about here. Another thing you can do, let's go to our next thing here. Let's go same uh, defense, at least the same look. But this time we're going to audible into the cover one hole. And we're going to go ahead and do the do the QB contain just to kind of give it the look. And then we're just going to go here. Now, you can keep you can call press coverage if you want. That's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Now, I can tell you right now, we're not going to get pressure on the quarterback. But what we are going to do is make the defense look very similar to what the cover uh, 
what the what the defense that we've been showing looks like. So the idea of this is is to go ahead and try to fool our our opponent into thinking that we're running the uh, pinch dog three, even though we're not running the pinch dog three. If that makes sense to you, so that's what we're trying to do by going into the cover one hole. Now we make it look like we're running the the cover three. Now the one thing I didn't do was use the uh, was go ahead and use the base align. If you want to use base align too, that would be good if you want. But anyway, there it is. There's the setup. This is the cover one hole. And then now we've got kind of the same setup, but we gave him a different look. And then hopefully he tries to make that throw and forces it. And now we're in man coverage. So what I would suggest is going back and forth between the the pinch dog three and the cover one hole and mat, mix and match those two different defenses to try to confuse your opponent. So I hope that's uh, something you guys can use. All right, so let's do something else that a lot of players like to do. A lot of players like to flip the play. So for example, they might come one way and then go back and flip to the other way. If you see something like this, and you probably will, then what you want to do is you want to do the same setup, but you don't want this guy to go into this gap. Because remember, that was when, when I put him here, that was when the running back was lined up on this side of the field. He was lined up over here. But when we flip the play, the running back now lines up over here. So what you need to do is you go to the opposite gap. So you go to the opposite A gap of where the running back's lined up at. And there's your setup right there. It's basically it's the same setup, except we just flipped where we're at with the A gap with the, with the defender that we're in control of. And then we'll just go ahead and run the play. And then you're going to get that outside pressure. For what you just saw there so that's the difference there if you see your opponent flip the play go ahead and do the same setup but then you want to make sure you put this guy on the opposite side of the running back so he's going to be in the a gap between the center and the left guard versus the center and the right guard and you should still get the same pressure i've been trying to show in earlier all right so that's the setup right there as far as with this defense and things you can do as far as applying pressure on the quarterback now before we finish the thing up, let's go into the coaching adjustments. Now you can do a couple different ways. Actually, let's not do it there. Let's go back into the screen here. Actually, let's go into coaching adjustment because I just want to show you something here. And not every team is going to have fast guys or great guys. So you're going to want to go into your depth chart. And I didn't make any adjustments with this. I figured I'd just go with what they had. But now I am. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. So right now we've got Jones at 78. Now he's coming off the edge from the right side of the offensive line. The guy that's coming from the right side of the offensive line happens to be Golden, which he's a 80 speed, which isn't bad, but what you can do if you want, and I'm gonna go back in, into the thing here and do some subs for you guys. So I'm gonna show you something. So let's go find Golden here. He should be number 44. And then I'm just gonna put this linebacker in there for now. And then I'm gonna switch him out with Simmons and then I'm going to put Simmons back in here. And the reason I'm going to put Simmons in this spot right here is because Simmons is, I think he's like a 90, a 93, if I remember right. He's a 93 speed linebacker coming off the edge. Let's go double check that. But I'm pretty sure he's like a 90. I know he's in the 90s. And then therefore, if you do this, it's going to allow you to get some lot quicker pressure. He's 93 speed. So we're going to go back on the field again with this particular defense as far as the uh, subs I just made. And then we're going to go back in here into this uh, verticals play. And then we're going to go ahead and make our adjustment. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this guy over. And we're going to set him right there, just like I showed earlier. Same setup, different look. I'm going to go ahead and leave the running back in to stay in the pass block this time. So you can see right there, he's clearly staying in the pass block. And then I'm just going to do this. So you get a little bit faster speed there. And you notice he got in quicker than what I showed earlier. I mean, he blew around the, he blew around the uh, running back. If you were to look at that, that running back had no chance of blocking him. And look at that. He comes right in there off the edge really, really quick as far as getting the pressure on the quarterback. So if you got an elite type uh, linebacker who's got a lot of speed, then if you make that adjustment, it's only going to enhance this defense as far as bringing pressure on a quarterback. So that should really wrap it up as far as what I wanted to show with this. It's certainly a defense that um, that you can bring some pressure on the quarterback in the uh, out of the gun verticals or the gun bunch verticals, which a lot of players like to run. And it works against all the uh, – matter of fact, let's do one last thing since we're in here. Let's go ahead and just go into another play. Uh, let's just run another play despite what we just saw there. 
So let's go back in here so I can just show you this works against other plays in here. I just wanted to do that one play particularly. Let's just do the spacing play. And then we're going to do the same setup. Make sure you do the uh, base align. And then we're going to go ahead and reset. And then here's the setup right there. I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy back. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy into the A-gap right there. So let's do the same setup. Basically the same setup. Different defense. But should get the same results. He actually stepped up a little bit on that one and was able to get out of that. But that guy did come off the edge. You clearly saw him come off the edge. Let's go ahead and do this one more time here. And keep in mind, that's with the uh, running back, you know, still in that uh, delayed. If he didn't, if he goes out, we're going to get pressure regardless. So if the running back goes out, it's, it's guaranteed that we're going to get the pressure. It's so right there, come off that edge, and then we get the pressure again. So at any rate, that's what you guys can do if you want. Um, this defense is pretty effective as far as attacking pretty much all the bunch formations out of the gun, uh, excuse me, all the plays out of the gun, gun bunch formation, but it also works against some of the other formations in the game. So you'll want to test this out. I hope this one will help you guys out. Again, I know it's a long video. Trust me, I'm getting a little bit hoarse and winded from doing it. But as I've always said before, I enjoy doing this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been doing it for 20 years. And I will continue to uh, bring some of these uh, Madden tips that uh, I enjoy bringing to you guys. So again, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you guys liked it, you know, please uh, give it a thumbs up. You know, throw a comment down here. Hey, just say, if anything, just say, hey, man, I like the Blitz. That's great. And also, don't forget... There will be a link that's going to send you to the actual web page on the MaddenGuides.com site that has a little bit more in-depth information about this Blitz. And there's a lot more stuff on there you guys can uh, read and enjoy if you don't mind If you don't mind reading. I know a lot of guys enjoy looking at videos now, but uh, you know, on top of that, you guys who are old school like to enjoy reading and looking at stuff, then there's a lot of good content on that site as well. So guys, thanks again for watching the video.